we're going on a beach night out with a Huawei P30 Pro. Our destination is a tropical island paradise in sunny Philippines. I'm shooting most of this video with a Huawei P30 Pro, which we all know has great cameras. But island life, it's not only the beautiful adventures and sights that we see during the day. Half of the fun is when the sun comes down. Nights out on the beach tend to be hazy, figuratively and literally, owing to bad smartphone cameras. On this trip, I put the Huawei P30 Pro to the ultimate low-light test and had a number of margaritas along the way. Segway to our weapon of choice before we begin. This beautiful thing is the Huawei P30 Pro in amber sunrise. It also looks good after the sun sets. Basically, we're gonna enjoy the beach with this phone. And no, I'm not shooting on any mode other than automatic because ain't nobody got time for pro mode when you're at the beach enjoying. Back to our programming. As the sun sets on the sandy shore, video quality looks better on the main shooter compared to the wide-angled shooter. It's expected, but it's a shame because when you're at the beach, everything is pretty and everything seems like a better shot when it's wider. Oh, and that shaking? That's the phone stabilization. It was a really windy night and I have really weak arms. Pictures fare way better and here are some samples from when the sun started setting. And yeah, even in the dark, I appreciate the option of having the main shooter or the wide-angled shooter because it just gives you different IG shot options. That was it for the first night because I was tired and we went to bed early. On the second evening, we were fully energized and we got to shooting earlier. Doing... Double fisting, apparently. <laughs> I'm putting this in my video. So? Okay. <laughs> Joshua Vergara when the sun is down. Yeah. After dark. It's called after dark. What's wrong with you? <laughs> How dare you mess that up? Shut up. This is my I'm video. Sure of course I wanted nice Instagram photos with the pink sky as the sunset. Who better to ask than the Instagram boyfriend? That was a definite party. At least I thought so. Without even turning the night mode on, these photos look bomb. Okay, I got that on video. Oh, it's a video? I want to eat. And so, we eat. <laughs> If ever you find yourself in this part of the world, I'll always recommend a night out by the beach. Sand in your toes, sea breeze on your face, there's always plenty to do and plenty to see. And although video performance in low light on the Huawei P30 Pro will definitely not compare to actual cameras, for fun social media use, they're more than enough. And also, that audio is dope, all things oh considered. My God. You're the one from YouTube! <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Also, this phone zoom, whether it be nighttime or daytime, or even photos or video, it still blows my mind. In the photo department, everything looks awesome. It's definitely one of the best low light performers out there. It also helps that I'm in a beautiful place with random interesting and pretty things. 
So, funny story, we've gotten this far into the video and we haven't even tried out the night mode. Yes, Huawei is known for their night modes and similarly, the Huawei P30 Pro has a dedicated night mode. This is the difference. It also works with the wide angles and the zoom, so everything's covered. Although personally, I still believe that the night mode on the main shooter is still the best one. The thing is, on night mode, you really gotta have steady hands. Otherwise... I stress this, especially when you use the zoom. But hard work, aka my boyfriend using me as a human tripod, pays off and when it does, you get photos like this. When I travel like this, I remember just how beautiful the Philippines is. Sometimes you just get caught up in this fast-paced world with your life, with technology, with what's happening in the world that you fail to realize what's in front of you. Sometimes, to see better in the dark, all you really need is a good night mode. And I really, really mean that figuratively and literally.